and drop off will just do 20, 23 here. So now if we go and do another render, oh right, wait, I also have to turn on shadows or something like that. So, okay, uh, radius shadows again, uh, light radius, something like 8, um, shadow rays again to like something like 12 or 10. You will want to raise this up because if you look at the render again, you can see that the shadows here are very grainy. Um, so for your final render, uh, even I would so just using this for your final render. But if you do um, raise the shadow rays, uh, but for this purpose I will just have them at ten. They go up all the way up to forty, so you should probably do that. Although it does increase render time quite a bit. Let's just put it to ten here and take a. Actually, what I will do here, I will key the camera so that we can have the. Um, the camera at the same position every time. So let's just key at frame one at maybe this position here. Looks good. So let's key it. So now if we move it together we can just keep go going back there. So we will do another render here. Just to give you uh yeah okay so let's do another render here. Let's just see here. It obviously takes long analysis but now we have uh, two lights that needs calcul calculating, and uh, obviously that will uh, tear the program down. Not really tear it down, but it will. Uh, it won't. We will be harder with the program program to render. So it takes more resources. Resources. So when this is done here, uh, we will compare them side by side. Again, render, rendering uh, in production quality is probably not the best thing to do for previews. Uh, I just do it because, I don't know, I didn't feel like changing it for whatever strange reason. Um, but again, it's probably a lot better to uh, render it something like uh, just preview quality, basically. I think there's a preset for that. Uh, or just turn off anti-aliasing whatsoever. So here you go, now it's done. So if you compare these two, uh, what you'll see here is now we have some sort of a little bit of rim here. Uh, which adds a little bit to the model. We might actually want to go ahead and just save this out. Uh, I might want to go ahead and take the light and just up its intensity by uh, maybe a bit like 27 or something like that. Um, so that's basically our rim light. Let's just frame up, up the gun here. That's our rim light here. So um, what we want to do here, we want to have some a little bit of light that reflects off the ground. Um, so we could use um, sorry about that. Um, we could use ambient occlusion or something similar to that. Uh, but what I will do here is uh, I'll just create another spotlight sort of little sheet here, uh, and I will look through it, and I will go underneath here. I'll go to wireframe. I'll go underneath the model and somewhere like maybe this. Uh, I again turn on turn on the K and have very soft um, very soft shadow being calculated here. So maybe something like eight uh fifteen maybe I'm not sure. So okay fifteen uh, let's just soften it up with the penumbra angle and the drop off like we're done on these other ones. Um and we might want to have some really soft shadows here so just turn the light rays to 8 again and uh, let's just set it to maybe 12, I don't know. It's really all about tweaking, but since I don't have that much time, I won't actually do that. Uh, also, the plane will now um, cast shadows to this, so this light will actually reflect or anything uh, on, on this one. So, what we need to do here is we're going to go to the render stats, uh, stats and just turn off uh, cast shadows, uh, which is very simple. So now, if we go to our, uh, 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 our camera here, perspective camera, and go to our uh, position uh, and render it again, and wait for it to render, the most exciting process of all, obviously, um, you should have a very nice and pleasing result here. So, if we would go ahead and wait for it to finish. You could also up the light base, which would basically cause... Uh, better shadows being calculated. As you can see here, we have some soft shadows right down, right down here at the moment, which is kind of a rim light, I believe. And we have some very soft ones coming up here.
but again this is grainy so for your fine render or something similar like that just put it up uh, put the shadow rays up to something like 40 or maybe something uh, like that and just do it. maybe walk away or use the internet for a while something like that while it's rendering so this is done rendering as you can see we already have a, a very pleasing result here uh, compared to our first few tries um, again this oh, well not really again but this model is really the most advanced model ever so uh, 3.9 systems work pretty good for it um, <coughs> as obviously uh, it's a very simple object it's just a gun um, and this is an old mold, pretty old mold. Uh, so it's, it's almost done here. Let's just wait for it here. A few bits of pieces left. Uh, so there we go here, and let's just save this image out. So what you see here, we have if we compare it to our first image, our first image it does look good. I mean, this is sort of pleasing. I mean. But what you can see here, the back here barely has any illumination on it, or the handle it doesn't have any it on the, the either, which causes some weird shading down here, uh, or uh, to the side there. So if we, with the rim light, uh, we can see that we have some quite a bit of illumination up here, and then when we add the last light, uh, if we if it wants to, you can see that now that we have a lot of illumination going on pretty much everywhere. So this really just shows your model in a very good way and um, you're pretty much ready to post this on a forum for critiques and uh, whatever, whatever. And since we still have a, a alpha value up here, uh, if we don't show it here, this is basically the plane uh, going up here. Uh, this part will be transparent when you upload it, so if you save it like a PNG. So let's just save this image here, file, save image, and you can choose the... Uh, file format and the name and the way where it's going to uh, show up. So that was pretty much it for this somewhat quick tutorial. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you later.